So without wasting any time, let's begin with our first topic of assessment that we need to do, or I should say like a flow chart that you can follow for most of your patients. So first factor that you need to do before considering or starting this medication is looking at your patient's last use of opioids. How many days ago did they used uh, their opioids? And these are the three timeline you need to focus on. It's either more than 14 days, which is two weeks, or between seven to 14 days, one to two weeks, or less than seven days, less than a week. Let's begin with the first one. If your patient is presenting and have used uh, or not use opioids for more than 14 days. So first you need to do is history in these patients and look for any opioid withdrawal symptoms. They should not be present. And second, you do a toxicology screen, primarily looking for negative for opioids. We all know the reasons because we don't want to put our patients in active withdrawal. And in the end, I will talk about that. That is one of the contraindications, but coming back here. So you do these two things first, and if both are negative, then you can go ahead and give them Naltrexone XR 380 milligram injection, and then follow that every 28 days on a monthly basis. What about the second one? If a patient is presenting between seven to 14 days, this is more uh, clinically relevant here because here we have to do a little bit more evaluation. You always begin with the scale to monitor their withdrawal symptom. And the most commonly used one is COWS, C-O-W-S, which is Clinical Opiate Withdrawal Scale. I will talk about the scale in a few minutes. I will talk about each uh, topic that we look for in this scale. But let me finish this uh, table first. So uh, you look for the numbers. You add different criterias. And if the number for cows uh, is more than four or less than four, that will decide your next step planning. So if you did a cows and their number uh, is more than four on cows, then patient is at risk of withdrawal or is currently in a withdrawal. You manage the withdrawal symptoms first and ask them to come back in one or two days and then reevaluate if the withdrawals are present. And second is if a patient is presenting on day four, sorry, uh, I take that back. If patient have cows, of four or less than four, then you need to do either naloxone challenge test or naltrexone challenge test before moving forward. I will also talk about these two tests moving forward in a few minutes, but that's a basic framework that you need to do if your patient is presenting within seven to 14 days. Very important to decide based on cow's scale. And if your patient is presenting in less than seven days, or I should say have used their opioids in less than seven days, well, you do not give them this medication till patient is at least opioid free for minimum seven days. So you ask them to come back after seven days clean time and then follow the algorithm the flowchart that we talked about for seven to 14 days period. So this is a very brief overview of how you decide or how you assess before initiating Vivitrol here.